Imagine that brother that they're backbiting about, imagine him on the table in front of you or on the floor, cold and dead and pale in color, skin it has no color. And now each one of you take a piece of his meat, cut it like this and you... Mm. His brother, wallahi, akhi, juicy. Imagine that. How does that visual fit? Backbiting, mashallah, people have excuses for backbiting. Yeah, this is some of the excuses for backbiting. I can say this to his face. Tabiakhi, go say it to his face. Why are you saying it behind his back then? You think yani, the fact that I'm able to say it to his face makes it not backbiting? No, it's backbiting. Or some other brothers, they're more talented. They start speaking about a brother and then like they don't know. By the way, is this backbiting? Yani, if it's backbiting, I'll stop. What do you think it is? Do you see him here? Tabi is backbiting. Yani, would you, let me just check yani, from a fiqh standpoint. Is this backbiting? Oh, oh, oh mashallah. Yeah? You're giving it this really yani, knowledge kind of covering for her. Huh? No excuses for backbiting. No excuses for it. And Allah likened it to eating the flesh of your brother while he's dead. One of the, one of the scholars, he invited some people for his house for, for, yani, for food. So he, he, brought the, he brought out yani, some of the, the bread and now he's going to go get the meat. So they start backbiting on someone. So he wants to tell them indirectly, stop backbiting. He said, SubhanAllah, people before you used to eat the bread before the meat. But you guys are starting with the meat. You understand? You know what that means? You see, you're already eating the flesh of your brother. <laughs> we didn't even start. The bread didn't even come. You start with meat immediately. A man came to Sufyan al-Thawri, the great scholar Sufyan al-Thawri, and he said, I have never seen Abu Hanifa, rahimahullah, I've never seen Imam Abu Hanifa backbite anyone. So Sufyan al-Thawri said, Naam, Abu Hanifa aqal min an yusallit ala hasanatihi man yadhabu biha. Yani he said, Abu Hanifa is too intelligent to let someone go away with his good deeds. What does it mean? It means that you backbite people, they take it from your good deeds on the day of judgment. Yeah? You want a good helpful tip? Especially if you hate someone, don't backbite them. Why? Okay, imagine this guy, you hate him, he's a really nasty person. So then he comes and he says, give me your, your iPad, for example, and you give him your iPad. Would you give him your iPad? No. Would you give him your, your, your laptop, your Samsung Galaxy notebook, all this stuff? You wouldn't. Would you give him your, your, the best and most valuable thing to you, your good deeds? You shouldn't, right? But this is what people do now. So you backbite someone you don't like, you're giving them your good deeds, right? And this is the thing that's most beloved to you. So only backbite people you love a lot, they give them your good deeds. I don't backbite anybody. Sufyan al-Thawri, again, rahimahullah, the great scholar, someone came to him and he said, these people are talking bad about you. Now, this is something great that he did. Do this next time you hear someone's talking bad about you. Sufyan al-Thawri sent them a bowl of dates, yani a bunch of dates with a note or a message yani, that said, it had come to my attention that you have assigned to me and you have given me some of your good deeds. I couldn't find anything with which to thank you besides this bowl of dates, so please accept it from me. Try it now. Next time someone is bad mouthing you and stuff, just send them some candy and a note. Hey, thank you very much. Yeah. I heard you gave me some of your good deeds. Please accept this candy bar from me. Try that. See if they ever bad mouth you again. Yeah. <laughs> what are they going to do? They're going to come and thank you. Thanks for the candy bar. <laughs> There's nothing you can say now. Khalas. You destroyed this guy, right? <laughs>